today's the big day. Markiplier's getting her ultrasound. But only four months of waiting? Humming, 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 humming. Welcome to summer camp. Oh. Look at this tiny little grub. Strange a uh, uh, woodpecker with a broken wing. Good morning, everybody. This is my son, Patrick. He's a beautiful little boy that I gave birth to only about seven months ago. This is my son. I breastfed and I bottle raised him from the time he was a little bean. Now he's got little horns. Take a look at that. Uh, this is half cock. He's adopted. Half cock's a beautiful little boy, but his neck doesn't uh, move from this position. He was born like this, but he can still eat and breathe and everything just fine. Today, I'm going to be trying to get half cock in here with Patrick. They've been sniffing each other from the other side of the fence for a while now. And now Patrick's big enough to mess around with. Them. And even though he is a mature ram, he has never shown any any signs of aggression with any of the other animals and he doesn't charge because of his neck. Also, we cut the grass so now I can see Master Ugwe wherever he is. But I'm hoping that him seeing me with Patrick will make him like me a little bit more. And he's not half as scared of me as he used to be. Especially because he knows I take good care of Patrick. Look guys, it's working and Master Ugwe is surprisingly smart for his species. Anytime he sees the gate open, he tries to climb over there. Maybe that's not a huge indicator of intelligence, but it's still pretty impressive considering he's just a dang tortoise. But he also tries to bite my toes all the time and it's kind of sus yeah see that guy he's trying to eat them he thinks that they're fruit come on back in here but i'm just gonna walk away and see if he follows patrick and i in here now i can sneak from around the back and lock him in here <laughs> There we go, yeah, baby. Perfect, and now we have one more beautiful little boy in our yard. And also, half cock will be a lot safer and it'll be a lot easier to socialize him now that he's in here next to me. And we no longer have to worry about him just roaming around in here whenever people open the gate. Boy, do my contractors like to drink. Oh, he looks like Shaylob's been having a bit of fun. If I'm not mistaken, that's one of our many little wasp friends that live right here. Take a look at this, you guys. This is the beauty of life. I've got so many of these and all my friends say, please, Ben, for the love of God, please take these down. But no, I think they're beautiful. What do you guys think? Take a look at this. Nature is healing. The next day. Good morning, Mr. Biggerton. Big Amps was outside during the brunt of the rainstorm last night, and that's why he's all fluffed up. That was the first cool evening that we've had. But as you can see, Patrick and Half Cock are all doing well here, and Patrick's cringe has officially cured Half Cock's cringe. And now that we're finally getting rain again, these guys have plenty of grass to eat. Look at that little dingus. Look at this little goober. But this is the closest I've gotten to half cock, you guys. Look how beautiful he is. Per usual, I'm gonna put bigger tin in here so he can eat and drink all the water on these grass blades. And we just got this cringe uh, uh, woodpecker with a broken wing. Dinner! Oh, today's the big day. Markiplier's getting her ultrasound. And it rained real bad last night, so this is the worst day to be doing this. Okay, Markiplier's all loaded up. We're gonna take her right to the vet so we can get that little belly of hers checked out. We also need to make sure she doesn't have an udder infection. Well, I'm stuck in the mud at my own property. Oh, I sure hope this works. Oh, come on, we gotta go! We did it! Hey, look at me, I'm a veterinarian. <laughs> So we brought Markiplier in for a pre-birth checkup, and I also wanted to make sure she didn't have any infected udders. So this is actually the rib cage of the little goat in there, and you can see that it's hard beating, so he's healthy and well. All right, everybody, I'm letting her out here with Patrick and this little half cock bull. Neither of them will bother her at all because they're both adorable and tiny. And half cock is physically unable to headbutt an animal. Half cock already likes her, so it has been a while since this boy's been around a female. But he is a sheep and she is a goat, so they are unable to breed and they're clearly not stressing each other out at all and now patwick has three friends you guys just went to pick up an injured squirrel but it was dead before i got there right side is it now i don't have to take it home well 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 look at this beautiful little squirrel now that i've trapped this squirrel in here he legally belongs to me <laughs> no 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 she got stuck in this little tub i'm just gonna go ahead and move her back now to where she used to be come on markiplier time to go back come on fatty get in here well this beautiful little boy here just rebuilt the rest of his web and we got this little fellow over here on this weird tree what is this you guys is this caterpillar laying eggs look at this tiny little grub building his own cocoon i also have a few of these little gecko boys that live up here in the corner snail moment patrick don't step on that snail all right everybody it's another beautiful day we just got approved for power to this building after only four months of waiting <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Only four months, Big Ounce. What do you think of that? Only four months of waiting? Hey, guys, it's me, Loaf Bloke. D don't for hey, don't forget to like the video. <laughs> Good morning, Master Ugwe here. Eat this prairie dog. And in the same week, we got approved for power right here. So now we're going to have power at all the buildings. And we'll never have to deal with the city again. All right, Big Ounce. Have fun in your little play area with your grasshopper. But until we do have electric, which will be a couple days, my son Gustavo here has to go to daycare. That's right you guys gustavo's going on a little church retreat look how cold this boy is but yeah this water is much too cold for this little boy he's a little bit slower now because of that oh gotcha but gustavo can hang out in 60 degree temperatures it's just much much better for him to be able to digest food in warmer temperatures because of that i'm taking this beautiful little boy to sean's over at yox2 reptiles but as soon as we clean all this stuff up get lights and electric ran in here and probably heating and cooling and when we have all of these replaced gustavo will come right back home and live in this nice big tub here hey gustavo here we are church camp okay guys here it is this is where gustavo's going to church camp for the winter and you know what we might even bring master ugwe over here for church camp as well i'm sure these two wouldn't mind having another little friend to play with this is the new location for yox2 reptiles sean's going to be setting this whole place up this is going to be the display and education room for when they do tours for the kids in the city schools if you guys want to follow along their progress and watch them set this whole place up, it's going to be on their YouTube channel. Sweet wampum, look at these folds. Oh, looks like we got some escape artists. Yeah, I'm sure they won't get too far. We're filling this thing up right now. Nothing like seeing a sulcata tortoise in his natural habitat. Good luck, guys. All right, Gustavo, welcome to summer camp. But okay, guys, Gustavo's going to be very happy in here. We'll put an extra little heat source and some lights in here. And he'll always be able to climb up to this little platform here that we're going to fill with mulch. But this is my prototype for gator farming. Next time we make one of these, I'm going to use the black mesh so we can see through it a little bit better. This is a nice temporary setup for the little fella. If we have some time, I'll come back and beef it up a little bit more. Minecraft. And I'm lending Big Ounce here to Sean so he can get the work done a little bit faster. Frog? What frog? Why haven't you liked the video yet? We now have all the liner we need for this pond here. And this will be strong enough to where nothing could rip through it, even a 40-foot gator. Markiplier is still pregnant somehow, but she should give birth any day now. And she doesn't even care that we took her to the vet. That boy just flew in here. But the pond is doing really well, and it's nice and clear because we have bacteria in here. And we've been getting so much rain, so it's filling the whole thing up. A little minnow farm up here and the wetland filter is doing really well and we haven't gotten any eggs from homelander's wife look at that boy pooping but i think we'll be getting some from her very soon and she's already comfortable biting my hand so that's nice and i'd say we're probably about one week out from being finally done with this i'm gonna have a pond put in here so the eagles can dive and catch fish but as for all the normal fencing around the perimeter and all the fencing on the top we should be done by the end of next week hello petunia and petunia is the only little animal that we have out here right now but now this is done for the most part i'm gonna go ahead and submit our application and by next spring we should be able to take in any raptor that comes here to our facility and like i said before once we fence in this middle wall here this will ultimately be a 220 foot flight pen where the eagles can fly from here all the way to where i'm standing and around this little pond here and they can practice turning and flying down to this end and i'll also have a big swinging gate here and here so that we can close this area off to make two 100 foot flight pens here and two in the middle so we can make four 50 foot flight pens that way we're really maxing out what we can do with this space. But that's it for this part of the property. <laughs> And because it's colder, Kevin's been acting like a woman. So for the last few days, I haven't even seen him come up and try and attack me or anyone else. Okay, guys, I love y'all. I appreciate you, but I got to get back to work. But these little fellas here are doing just fine. They're living with this turkey for some reason. They don't seem to mind him eating their food. And to celebrate Spooktober, for every video this month, I'll be feeding a whole pumpkin to my clappies because they're worth it. And like I said before, these guys can eat a lot more pumpkins than they can watermelon because pumpkins aren't that high in sugar. So it's not going to be too disruptive to their gut bio. In other words, it's not going to give them too much diarrhea. But look at this goofy little boy. I'm going to stick my finger in there. There's a little fast forward clip of me scratching Gort until he falls over. <laughs> oh my 
And by the end of this year, we should have a whole pumpkin patch growing in the Capybara area. But look at that, you guys. They love this stuff. Okay, goodbye, children. I'll see you tomorrow. And unlike all these other cringe ones, Kumala is the only one that'll just let me pet him no matter what. Look at this, you guys. Look how cringe all these other Capybaras are compared to Kumala. This is my favorite son. Goodbye. That's it for now, though, you guys. I love you all. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching these videos. Big Ounce loves you all and appreciates you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh, almost forgot to tell you.